Bet there was a whole lot of glass in these windows. It's got a state marker on it. But yeah, Boeing tested a bunch of ground to, they called it GAPA, so ground to air pilotless something, I don't remember, aircraft or something. Yeah, pilotless aircraft. Ground to air, it says in the in the words. Ground to air pilotless aircraft. Um, test them through the late late 40s at the first supersonic missile or something. Something cool here. And then they never used them. They became the, you know, they just got part of a different program. The technology was just moved forward. Uh, before we go in, there's a bunch of hinges. Bunch of stuff on the ground here. And to give you some perspective, I don't know if you can see it, but over there is the, the launch pad. We'll go to that next. Here's the bunker entrance. <clears throat> Let's go take it out, take a look. Look at that, the door. <laughs> That's not securing anything. Kind of want to pick it up, see if there's anything cool under it. Oh, look, you can kind of see. Come around in the dirt there, there's the securing so I got the old metal frame take a look at that that's a hinge it's got a little bit of trash but uh, it's starting to fall apart so if you're gonna come visit come visit quick because this thing's not gonna last too long all right let's go in Here's your, here's your view. <laughs> Probably can't even see the pad itself from here. But I got the angled. And there's two slots there with a bunch of dirt. I'm not really sure why there are two slots there. And where the dirt's coming from, because there's not a hole on the top. But look, you can see where they had signs hung up. <laughs> then those are conduit entrances and air holes and shit like that. And we'll look at the roof after. Yeah, this is a nice little office. Let me see if I can... It's all really loose. Looks like two pipes, actually. Like if you can kind of see in the back there, it's arched almost like a pipe. Wouldn't be bad to bring a shovel in here. Oh, that's nice. Nice little bone. Oh, yeah, imagine this is your office. It's not bad. Let's go around and go up. Up on top. <clears throat> And I'm thinking that's connected to whatever those slots are. It's really soft dirt sand. Looks like there was power pole. And these are the pipes that we saw. So so you can see the wall's really thick. That one's for air. Uh, 
Yeah, so now we'll head over there. And here's a launch pad. All these things to secure the uh, launch. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> There's a lot of animal holes. An old bucket? She found, she found an old bucket out there. Yeah, look, they got these on all the corners. And then we were just kind of walking around. We like looking at old trash. See, there's a can, a lid or something. There's a big concrete thing out here. I don't know what it's for. There she is. Yeah, just old, all over the place. Scrap metal and fire ants. Some more big old eyes. Some more old trash. Uh, old hinge. Kind of works. There's another one. Bunch of old busted pieces. And it's still shockingly flat between here and the the bunker itself. Big old hole. Oh. Well, if anybody knows what that means, that would be cool. <laughs> Set seven oh seven zero. Zero one eight five nine. I'm not not sure, but that's an old can piece, so that's cool. Lots of these big, big animal holes. There used to be a tower here, probably. Let's see from the pictures. I think it was over here, but who knows? I can't, I don't know. It's been taken down since they abandoned this site in the late forties. Yeah, cause they used this site in 1946 was when they started launching 
with uh, Gappa missiles. That's cool. But yeah, that's the Gappa missile launch complex or whatever you want to call it. 